everyone, another story today at Cindy Harper Speaks, and this has a cute title, Fox Be Nimble. So let's check out this fox and him being nimble. It's written by James Marshall. So the contents, we have Fox the Famous, Fox the Brave, and Fox on Parade. So start off with Fox the Famous. Fox's mom was on the phone. Fox would love to help, said mom. I'll send him right over. I won't do it, said Fox. Whatever it is, I'm playing rock star. Mrs. Ling across the street needs you to sit with her kids, said Ma. Why don't you do it, said Fox. This is my quiet time, said Ma. Now hurry up. No, said Fox. And that is that. Oh, really, said And Fox went across the street. Peace of you, Fox, said Mrs. Ling. Ma made me, said Fox. Mrs. Ling got into her car. I do hope they behave, she said. I can handle them, said Fox. They're just kids. Mrs. Ling drove off. Hot dog yelled the Ling kids, and they went wild. Stop that, cried Fox. Cut down from there, cried Fox. Quit it, cried Fox. I don't have time for this. But the Ling kids would not quit. They did just what they wanted. Fox had to get took. Oh, look at these kids. Oh, up on the sea, on the lamp, the light, jumping on the sofa, going down the staircase. I'll tell your mom, he said. The lean kids got very still. We'll be good, they said. Why don't you go play in the backyard, said Fox. The kids liked that idea. May we play with our new balloons, they said. I don't see why not, said Fox. Fox went back to playing rock star. The girls will love this, he said. Suddenly, he had an odd feeling. The lean kids were up to something. Fox ran into the backyard. Come back here this minute, he cried. Bye-bye, the lean kids called out. Oh, no, cried Fox. Their mom will kill me. I have to catch them. He climbed the fence. And he fell right into some mud. Tore his brand new blue jeans. Tripped and stubbed his toe. And ran snuck into Mrs. O'Hara. Then Fox got a bright idea. He climbed up to a very high place. I'll grab them when they float by, he said. He tried not to look down. Fox didn't like high places. But the wind carried the lean kids right back home. What have you little darlings been up to, said Mrs. Ling. And just what have you done with poor Fox? That night, Fox's mom turned on the TV. A fox was rescued from a high place today, said the newscaster. Why, that's you, Fox, said mom. Fox is famous, cried little Louise. Oh, quit it, said Fox. Fox the Brave. Fox stepped on one of his skates and went flying. Who left that there, he cried, and he landed with a bang. Mom and Louise came running. I'm dying, cried Fox. It's only a scratch, said Mom. Nothing to worry about. I can't look at all the blood, cried Fox. There's no blood, said Mom. Don't leave me, cried Fox. Mom and Louise put Fox to bed. Call Dr. Ed, said Fox, before it's too late. Really, Fox, said Mom? You're making such a fuss. Louise called Dr. Ed to come over. Then she stepped on Fox's other skate. 
bounced down the stairs, flew right out the front door, and ran smack into Mrs. O'Hara. Everybody runs into Mrs. O'Hara. Poor Louise must hurt all over, said Dr. Ed. But Louise didn't cry. She didn't complain, not even a peep. Very brave, said Dr. Ed. Very brave. Louise is tough, said Mom. Now then, said Dr. Ed, what's the matter with Fox? Oh, it's just a scratch, said Fox. I don't like to make a fuss. Mom didn't say a word. When Fox saw how brave his little sister was, there's no way he could complain about the little scratch he had. Last section, Fox on parade. Fox is showing off, said Dexter. Quit it, Fox, said Mr. Sharp. We don't have time for this. The big parade is next week, and the band played on. Fox is showing off again, said Carmen. That does it, said Mr. Sharp. Fox was told to leave the band room. Come back when you have changed your ways, said Mr. Sharp. But I have to show off, said Fox. Fox sat in the schoolyard by himself. There are some things you just can't change, he said. Look out, look out, cried a voice. Fox almost got hit. Oh dear, cried his friend Raisin. I'm so clumsy. You should be more careful, said Fox crossly. I'm sorry, said Raisin. I'm just not good at this. It looks easy to me, said Fox. Oh, really? said Raisin. Then you try it. He's got a baton. Fox gave the baton a twirl, and he dropped it on his toe. Ouch, he yelled. This is harder than it looks. But soon he got the hang of it, and he got better and better. Raisin couldn't believe her eyes. Wow, said Dexter. Will you look at that? Fox, said Mr. Sharp. May I speak to you a moment? What now, said Fox. On the day of the big parade, the band was great. Fox could show off to his heart's content, and the crowd went wild. So Mr. Sharp saw that he had a title, and he was the baton twirler for the band. All right, Fox be nimble. I like those sections. I particularly like the section when he was babysitting Mrs. Ling's children. They were wild and crazy. <laughs> so if you like Fox be nimble, Please press like, and I'll see you next time at Cindy Harper Speaks. Thanks for tuning in, and bye for now.